My name is John Hogan, and um, I was asked here today to uh, tell a story. But there's more to the story than most people have heard. Um, the story that my father told was that uh, he was in the Air Force. He flew on a B-29 bomber as a tail gunner. And they would fly their missions during the Korean conflict in 1950-51. And they would carry the atom bomb. And uh, the way it was designed was they would fly to enemy territory and get a call back to turn around, and they'd turn around and fly back to base. And if there ever were um, orders for the conflict to become a war, uh, they were prepared already in the air to, um, to engage the enemy. Uh, they never expected to ever fly into enemy territory, and so one day um, they were waiting for the call to return to base, and the call didn't come, and they ended up flying several miles for several minutes in enemy territory, and then finally got the call, turned around, and came back to base. And it was a nerve-wracking experience, um, as all the crew members were very shaken by it, and um, they, uh, they had their beers and wound down, and as it turns out, the pilot never flew again. And that's the story that was told. Years later, um, as I was a young man, uh, my father and I were discussing uh, the universe and, and bigger picture type things, and he elaborated that the story that he told was missing some detail. Um, he and the crew members all had an agreement to not really talk about it, but um, as they were flying, their plane um, flew near objects in the sky that were seemingly flying and accelerating in a way that uh, 1950 technology just wouldn't allow. And their instruments were not working properly. And they couldn't signal in, they couldn't get a signal out. Um, they were, for a number of minutes at least, um, were very concerned that this was gonna be the end of it for them. They had no control over the aircraft, they had no control over communication. Um, and nobody knew what was going on. When the objects around them departed, the controls of the aircraft and communication came back online. That's when they were being hailed by their commander, immediately return, why are you there, immediately return, and they flew back to the base. And the pilot never flew again. And. Um, my father, from that time on, told me that it, it enlightened him to the world beyond what we can see, touch, feel, hear. And he admitted to me that he was able to find a way to meditate into a state where he can be accepting of thoughts and energies that gave him direction in life. He perceived these entities as sentient beings and um, not as a danger to humans and that um, there's a lot more going on in the universe than we typically can perceive or know. But we need to tune into it when we can and it provides answers to um, seemingly big things going on in life and in the universe.